I'm here at Site Gallery Houston at the Silos at Sawyer Yards with our third rendition of our Sculpture Month exhibition at the space. This year it's titled Peak Shift. This year in 2018, we've invited 14 artists to explore and cultivate and install their most creative and most engrossing installations this year. For Peak Shift 2018, um, this year Volker Isley and Tommy Gregory um, really incorporated thought into the space as a whole. And we as a team have tried to come up with a new format and a new formula for our artists. So the idea for this year was less artists, more space. We're very happy to have an internationally renowned artist, Jessica Stockholder, uh, was gracious enough to uh, send one of her very famous um, work. We challenged the artists to work in such an inhospitable space. I'm interested in, in round shape, in the, in the shape of a sphere, uh, because it's very common in the universe. Uh, that's why it appears practically everywhere, also on the molecular level. I, I wasn't bothered at all by the shapes of the, uh, of the rooms. Uh, yes, I admit uh, it wasn't easy to work in this interior, but uh, I find it very inspiring. The spaces, as many artists have said, are almost hostile to the works of art in there. It's not a blank, uh, clean canvas, it's not a blank, white wall, but rather you have to think about what was this space before and is my work going to respond to it rather than just being plunked down in it. It's just a, a magnitude of different types of art here that we're able to show because of the honeycomb-like structure, the labyrinth structure of the silos, um, but we let them spill out, which is fantastic. These works are specifically using pop music and notions of identity or gender. Like I'm, I'm really thinking about how, how those things are formulated together and how I can use color and image and sound to evoke that feeling of playfulness and a little bit of fear. So not only is there the resonant frequencies of the silos that you can hear, but there's resonant frequencies that you can only feel. And having those uh, frequencies in the room and that energy in the room actually uh, made it to where you, you were more attuned to your own voice. Uh, there's no speakers involved in this, in this music. Um, it's, all, it's all transducers. So, so I vibrate the silos at their own resonant frequency to create the music.
An event horizon is the edge, is the point of no return around a black hole or other vortex. You can't escape, so you're going to be sucked down into that black hole. And so for me, with the idea of the event horizon in this space, it's us being pulled into this vortex. So in this sculpture, I try to imagine that they're all being pulled away and pulled into another space, and that there isn't a point that we can come back. We've already passed that event horizon, or point of no return. In my work, I'm always kind of striving to have, or whether I do it on purpose or it just comes out of like who I am and what I make, this attraction repulsion, where on first glance, they're very pretty and girly, and, and then when you start to spend time with it, they become almost grotesque in their beauty, I guess, and almost terrifying. We have been welcomed to um, put site-specific installations at the airports as well, specifically the tower at Bush Intercontinental. The drawings are, are using the fantastical animals and mythological beasts of the Zodiac. And so I drew Leo, I drew Virgo, I drew Orion, and they all were used in terms of what specific runway they were looking at. So there's this sort of connection between the ancient to the, the modern and the contemporary and the future of using radar and using very advanced sort of technology of what we use today. But there's still that sort of still using the North Star and still using North as our point of reference. The 1940 Air Terminal Museum down over by Hobby Airport, uh, Tommy Gregory actually spearheaded that. He curated a group show there that was um, equally interactive as the uh, site gallery space. Sculpture Month Houston is really proud to participate in various venues throughout the city of Houston and we can't wait to see what's in store for our 2019 season and uh, we hope to continue growing, continue learning, continue welcoming people into our city.